Lo que es la lipo. Ok. Tiene libres. ¿Te las libres? Sí. La espalda. Eso. Toda okay. esta zona. Y luego la espalda. Okay. También. Transfer o no transfer? No. No. Okay. No transfer. The things we're looking at when um, you know, we're evaluating someone for the first time is, you know, quality of the skin, where, where the areas of, of fat are. Um, you know, the main thing is, is talking to the patient because the first thing you want to do is actually find out what they want and, and if we can accomplish what they want. So, you know, in her case, she's very skinny. She does have some, some liposuction, I mean, some fat on the back, some, some fat on the abdomen, solo lipo. So, you know, the best thing for her to get the, the shape and to get the nice tiny waist, la centerita, is to do some liposuction. Um, you know, liposuction is a, a uh, fairly straightforward operation. Um, you know, what we're doing is we're creating a shape, and that's what it's all about. We're removing fat in certain areas to create the contour and the shape and to bring in the waistline as, as much as humanly possible. Um, so, in her case, liposuctioning the abdomen and, and liposuctioning the back is no problem. So uh, typically there is um, uno drainaje aquí, one drain in the front, and there's one drain in the back of la espada. The drains are there to remove any of the fluid that's underneath the skin. I use drains because I'm very aggressive in the liposuction. Some other doctors don't. It's, it's surgeon preference, but I spend a lot of time trying to you know, define and shape the areas that we're working in. So to do that and to get, you know, the, the skin and the fat really thin, I find that using drains helps prevent some of the, the after complications that you can get from doing liposuction, meaning seromas or fluid that builds up underneath the skin. That's probably the biggest issue that you have with, with liposuction, especially when you're very aggressive, is that, you know, because of the inflammation that happens when we're taking the cannula, remember with liposuction, we're taking a cannula, and we're going in and out underneath the skin, you know, hundreds of times. Doing that is an inflammatory process. So just like when you fall and you get an abrasion on the skin and you scrape your skin, your body oozes that clear fluid, the same thing happens underneath the skin. So the drains are put underneath the skin to remove the fluid that allows the skin to stick down faster and it allows for a healing process. The other thing that you can also do um, after the operation, you can start at the first day, is um, the lymphatic massages. So I prefer, you know, five or 10 lymphatic massages during the first two weeks, that's when they're most effective. And they're pushing all of that fluid from underneath the skin into my drain to remove it, to once again, allow the skin to stick down. But, you know, in her case, she's a perfect example for a liposuction. She's an ideal patient um, because she's in good shape and she just has certain areas that need to be, to be taken care of. You know, the goal is to get this nice and skinny and back here to get that curve in the lower back so that everything looks very tiny and to bring it in like that. Laser liposuction is an ultrasound assisted liposuction. And you know, the difference is that in traditional liposuction or liposculpture, which is just the same name for the same thing, what we're doing is we're infiltrating a fluid underneath the skin which surrounds the fat. That's called tumescent solution. That does two things. It gives a little bit of anesthesia to the area and it helps prevent bleeding. With the regular liposuction, after you let that sit, you're just putting in a cannula to remove the fat. With Vaser, before I remove the fat, after I put in the fluid, I'm inserting an ultrasonic probe. That probe is gonna shoot ultrasonic energy around the probe, and as I bring the probe through the fat, it breaks up the fat into smaller pieces. The fat is still viable to use it um, for transfer if you want to, even though she doesn't want to do transfer. Um, but it just allows me to get a smoother result, allows me to be more aggressive and allows me to, to shape better. Um, you know, I compare it to the difference between, you know, sculpting. You can sculpt, you can have a block of marble and you can do a chisel and hammer and sculpt it that way, which is very difficult. Or when you use the vaser, it's like molding clay, which is much easier. So the patients have a little bit um, faster recovery, uh, less pain afterwards and an overall better result. So I always do prefer to use the vaser um, when I can. So aquí atrás, todo esto aquí me lo quita. Todo, todo, todo. Todo, todo.